Hey, how are you? Eric with you from doghealthblog.com. I appreciate, appreciate you watching today. I'm with Coco, my beloved Coco here. And this week we're going through different techniques for dog massaging. Yes, Coco has her personal dog masseuse here. Today I was going to demonstrate a mobility specific massage. So this would come into play if um, maybe if it's an older dog and they have sore hips or shoulders, if it's a dog um, that has been involved in a lot of activity and you notice some limping or some lameness, uh, some soreness and inflammation in that area, this is a great massage that you can start working on with your dogs. Um, actually, Coco had a major surgery on her hip. She had um, avascular necrosis in her left hip here, and they basically removed her hip. So she, she, uh, she, she has scar tissue in this area now that has formed a bond. It's, it's strong enough to support her hip. Just amazing, but, but after surgery, after she had healed, it was really stiff and she was having difficulty with mobility, mostly uh, trotting and running. So I use this massage quite a bit on her hip and it really helped. She has just about full range of motion now on that hip. So it, it did work wonders. Uh, again, so this is a mobility massage. And um, what you're going to do is you're just going to put one heel of your hand over the joint and then the other hand on top. So one on, one on the joint, the heel, the other on top. So I'll, I'll show you right on her back hip here. So you get right over, you can feel the joint where the bones are prominent in that area. I'm going to put my hand there, the other hand on top, and then I'm just going to apply a little downward pressure. A little pressure for five to ten seconds and release and again the heel you put you apply the pressure through the heel of your hand apply it five to ten seconds and release and release and then you can just uh, from that point you can start changing the angle a little bit so I'm gonna go counterclockwise I'm gonna move my heel a little bit and release and again, with the angle, you can vary it so you can go horizontally across the joint, just slowly moving your hand across the joint in a horizontal fashion. And you can go, of course, vertically and with little circles, counter clockwise and clockwise. And you will, you'll feel the depression of the pressure and the movement of the joint which, uh, which is what we want to affect. Um, as always, it should not be painful for the dog. If, if they do show any signs of pain or resist, <clears throat> do, not, do not push the issue. Uh, I, would, I would definitely have your veterinarian take a look and see what's going on there if the dog is resisting this type of mo mobility massage. But um, it does, it's very effective. Uh, Coco has had tremendous results from it, and it's, it's just a little pressure is the key, though. You, you don't want to put too much force on it. Um, the last thing, of course, you want to do is, is cause any damage. So that is the mobility massage. Again, if you head over to the blog post, doghealthblog.com forward slash dog massage, you'll see all the juicy tidbits regarding uh, this massage and there's three others there also that I've written in detail how to perform the do's and don'ts associated with each. So I know right after this video you are heading over there. <laughs> so check it out when you have a chance. Thanks for watching. For Coco and myself, we wish you a good day and keep wagging. Thank you.